Welcome to The Know, I'm Ashley Jenkins. And have you ever accidentally cut off your hand and just had a really bad time? All right, well, probably not. But let's just imagine it for a second. Think of all the things you can't do without hands. Think of all the jobs. Luckily, the future doesn't have to be quite so grim because science is on the case. Three human guinea pigs have sacrificed their hands to the future and gone through surgery to replace their fleshy human hands with prosthetics in a procedure called bionic reconstruction because even the doctors know that we love sci-fi. All three had already lost the use of their hands, though, in accidents that damaged the brachial plexus, which, in case you're not a doctor and why not? I mean, you've got access to the internet, right? Anyway, the brachial plexus is a bundle of nerve fibers that connect your spine to your hand, and Oscar Asman at the Medical University of Vienna, Austria, who performed the operations, said the injury is so massive that there are only a few. This is just not enough to make the hand alive. They will never drive a hand, but they might drive a prosthetic hand. Drive in the operate sense, not an actual like, car sense. Unfortunately for aspiring Jedi with questionable parentage, it's not quite as easy as just taking a lightsaber to the arm and then sticking your stump in a sleeve. Another sex joke. In this case, it actually took a lot of prep and surgery beforehand, with leg muscle transplanted into the arm to boost the signal to the remaining nerve fibers and several months of brain training to control a virtual arm via electrical signals in an armband before they actually broke out the bone saw. Dustin Tyler from the Lewis Stokes Veteran Affairs Medical Center in Cleveland, Ohio, observes, there's something very personal about having a hand. Most people will go to great lengths to recover one, even if it's not very functional. These ones are pretty functional though. There's actually a test to measure limb function where 100 is a normal score. The prosthetics improves the three new cyborg scores from an average of nine each to an average of 65 each. That's a huge improvement. There are a lot of things these prosthetics can't do yet though, like offer a sense of touch. It's like the ultimate stranger. But that's where other science may step in. Remember back in December, we reported on researchers developing synthetic skin, put those two technologies together, and bam, robot bodies. And, you know, positive quality of life for those who've lost these of their limbs, but robot bodies. I remember hearing somewhere too that they're gonna start working on head transplants in two years or so, which is some serious return to us. Scary stuff right there, or um, what was it? It's the brain that would not die, there we go. It's the price of progress though. Would you replace your fleshy parts with cyborg parts if given the option? Can you guess what my answer is? <laughs> Let us know in the comments. You get the best in video games, entertainment, tech, and science right here. So make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel and we'll keep you in the dick jokes.